Good morning, everyone. Srifgal. We are playing some more Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous, and we're about to go to bed. I wasn't sure if there was going to be story stuff during this, and I didn't want to wait for another cutscene. Hey, I was right. Uh, the messenger returned. The tribes are gathering at the entrance of the maze. Our people have already gone there. I've warned Anivia and the old guy won't even acknowledge me. Uh, take your time, there's no rush. All the important people always show up late. Everything's going to plan, but one thing's bothering me. Hundwag is gone. Uh, and that is because... I revealed the light of heaven. Uh... So yeah, I think we'll say what happened to Wendwig first. I don't know, she was always stubborn, maybe she decided... She could do it all on her own. I hope she comes back. We'll struggle without her, and she'll struggle without us. Okay. All the tribes? Uh, so yeah. We're all marching to the surface. Uh. We're just gonna leave Anivia and Horkus here. Uh, once we've cleared the maze, the way ahead will be safe. Okay. Anivia's in no state to fight. And Horgus doesn't look like he'll shift an inch unless we roll out the red carpet. That's fair. There was another passage, the one I used with my dad when we left, and then came back. The chief back then, he found it and filled it in. Uh, to stop anyone else going against the ancestors' wishes. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. There's no time to lose. Before we do, thank you. I was so happy, I forgot to thank you. You've done something no one else has in a long time. You've given the Mongols hope. It's like uh, we're starting to believe that we're something, or that we're worth something, now that we have the power of the angels on our side. It won't change anything, of course, but at least it'll help us save the young ones, hopefully. Let's go through the main gate. The straight road is the shortest. Okay. So we have... Sila... Me, Camellia, and Lan. Uh, let's do a quick... Really? Okay. Um... Ah, that's what's going on. Okay. So we're gonna do... Basically, the pyramid formation here. Um, thinking kind of a diamond thing. Party members will move towards the enemy at speed, not exceeding the speed of the party member position in the front. Yep. So we're trying to keep our heavy armor person in front. And our more po our uh, squishier characters behind, especially now that, like in this case, we're gonna have stuff to do ahead of time. Um, let's do a quick actions. Uh, inspire courage. Okay. Free light wounds. Remove fear. Light of the angels is our. Oh, that's his, uh... I think Light of the Angels is the Asimar power, not the... And then he will accept that. I'll watch your back. We don't actually have anybody doing Inspire Rage, so it should be fine. Okay. Caves at the shield maze. Okay, formation. Yep, we already did that. We are the light. They are the darkness. A 
That's right, I have it set to pause at the end of each round, I believe. Uh, I think we're close enough here that we'll go ahead. There we go. And then we'll have pure light wounds on Sila. And I guess let's just go ahead and have her lay on hands a couple times get back up. Okay, there's the mongrels. I'm assuming this is the maze then. The tribes are gathered. Soon we will attack. How long can we wait? The other tribes haven't turned up yet. We're going to wait just a little while longer. Preparations will take the better part of a day. Let's go look at the maze ourselves and see what's what. Yep, that was my thought. I am finished. Baphomet, Lord of the Minotaurs and Lord of the Labyrinth. Okay. Uh, we're going to hope that there's not Minotaurs. They would probably hurt. Uh, this is... I don't think I mentioned, but this is not... Oh. Okay. Okay, you're using this feat before your attack roll. You can use your attack roll here. You can roll twice and take the better result. Once per day every four levels. So just twice. Okay. So we would like... him the wrong mongrel. to his attack. We're going to have Sila start moving forward. I heed the voice of the spirits. Yet another obstacle. Okay. I'll cut you wide open. Strike with all your might. End of round one. Everyone can focus on that guy. Baphomet cultists. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and just do some loot. Loot, loot, loot. Uh, we do not have... I am helpful, am I not? Uh, yes, yes you are. I'm glad that you have trickery, because nobody else does. Uh, we also don't have a lot of great people with perception. Which is a little nerve-wracking for trapped treasure chests. We don't have a rogue. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and make sure... That we've got all of these potions equipped. Uh, we're gonna put this on as an option. I don't. My style. Okay. Uh, mage armor. I guess we could put on him because he's not wearing armor because he's a monk. Uh, reduce person. We're probably just gonna sell that. Okay, let's uh, continue on. Traps. Okay, perception will 
take care of it, and trickery will disable. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really cool. So, this is definitely something new. So, this is the triggered area. And then over to the side here is the place where you disarm it. And it even shows, like, the whole path. Very cool. March on. Just realized that my mouse cursor isn't visible on this game. I may have to look at the settings for that because I've been pointing What's at that? things, which may be, you know, relevant at some point. Huh. Hey, okay, big dining hall. Not seeing any people. Onwards. Ah, there they are. You won't survive me. That's how you hit them. Hovland. His name was Hovland. Uh Why would the mongrels attack us? Aren't we all on the same side? Something's wrong with them. Their bodies. It's like something's eating them from the inside out. Maybe they eat... Sure, maybe they ate something weird or were having an off day, but I think something drove them out of their minds. No idea. It's my first time here. Maybe they fell down the same way you did. Wonder Egg comes here all the time. Uh... Saving game is impossible. Why? I am helpful, am I not? Let's sing so by the ground. Someone enjoyed watching people suffer. Okay. Let us be off. Uh I'm not sure what was going on with that mm, save message, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a hard save instead of trusting the auto save since it failed <laughs> Did we find trouble? The spirits demand your blood. Huh. Okay, let's, uh... We can do it. Uh, let's do Lay on Hands. So we did burn through about half of our bardic music. There, as well as some healing, but I think it was probably worth it. Uh, chain shirts, scale mail. So they're giving us kind of a standard, uh, a standard light, a standard medium. Some exotic weapons, just in case we wanted them, I guess. Cold, Cold Iron Masterwork Javelin could be good. And... Okay. Lock picks will give us a bonus on picking locks. So it looks like that's everything over here. I am going to move around a little bit just to make sure that we get everything. Make sure there's nothing hiding. Same thing over here. Uh, let's go ahead over here. I think we're going to go ahead and... Where is... 
actually... He should be using Arcane Strike, I just realized, and doesn't have it on. Uh, let's go ahead and have him use Cure Light Wounds. Just so we've got both. Uh, both. So now both of these characters have one left, basically. So that we've got some options. Uh, why does the line go out there? I mean, it looks like... Oh, there it is. Okay. I just didn't turn it off. So the disarm goes all the way to the other room. That could get annoying, but I think it is also sensible. Like, there's always something that's bothered me a little bit with the way that traps and games work, where it's, like, right there. Uh, pick the lock. I am helpful. Yes. Am I yeah, yes, you are. Uh, Rapier. And Masterwork Mace. Okay. This looks like it's probably a continuation of where we're at. Rather than... More side rooms. So let's go ahead and back up. And cut across. Trying to split this up, make sure we have a melee character on the archers. They get attacks of opportunity. And then have Sila again focus down on the main melee characters. Um What's what is Sila's AC? Because she's getting thrashed quite a bit. 22? And she's gotten... They must just be rolling lucky, I guess. Because she has gotten hit a lot. Ooh. Secret door. Trap. Um, so we're going to have Sila step forward first, just in case this had enemies in it. Then we're going to have Camellia go over here and pick the, or disarm the trap. You appreciate this. And now we'll have the whole group go in here. Loot, loot, loot. Okay, let's go ahead over here. Oh, hey, one more little thing. Open the door here. This also looks like it could be a way forward. Every enemy has their own unique statistics and ability. Sometimes no knowledge of an enemy's strong and weak points could be crucial for victory. To enable hints about the creatures, press the inspect button on the interface bar. Inspecting a creature. Nice. I suspect... Endure this! Okay, so we're going to... I can't cast it like that. 
No reason to pause. Charge the cleric. Have her go there. Have him turn this way, just so we've got one on each. And have Lan focus down the fighter, just for the sake of it, since he's lower. She is stable, but once again has gotten knocked down. We are out of our initial healing stuff. I tire of waiting. This war. I mean, I guess we better just get her a uh, healing potion. For now, um, I don't want to burn through all of my Cure Light Wounds charges, like, right away. So... There's a couple areas we missed for looting, and we didn't go down here. I guess this could be... This is probably actually where we need to quick hop over to. Before we continue... Just in case, there might be something down here that's okay, worth that? grabbing. So yeah, this doesn't look the same. Corrupted mongrels. This is like, this is a very large dungeon, um, like there's a variety of stuff in here. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can get this, put the lock. I am helpful, am I not? That is going to be, what? I would like loot. Okay. Let's move. That's where we came from, so we do probably want to continue this way. Canabre's system of aqueducts channeling water from the river into the city was damaged during the earthquake. Okay.
brute. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this information and have him start attacking right now. Couple crits, wow. Okay, okay. You can trust me. Bring a protection. Currently unidentified, I guess. We'll have to find out. Make sure we get a chance to look at everything, just in case. This area is further down. No idea what that guy is. So let's go ahead. Uh, I think we're probably going to need to rest soon. So I think what we're going to do here is. Strike with all your might! The light take you! Have land stand back. Bard song active. There we go. Check that out. The door to the unfinished section of the mage can be opened using a nearby torch, which is a hidden lever. Used uh, our last spell there and activated Bard Song um, for a couple rounds against that. Uh, this is my oops. Path. yeah. When we were fighting uh, back there, just to be safe. Um, I am suspecting that we are getting close to a point where we may want to take a rest. As our character, our characters may take rest. That's probably not a terrible time for me to take a break on the video as well. Let's see if we can pick the lock on this. Let's use our apprentice lock picks and see if we can pop it. Used enlarged person there to make Sila a bigger target. Also makes her hit harder. Which is the important part. I am am I not? Yes, you are. You're also kind of bloodlusty, which is a, a a choice. Okay, so there is a door over here. Do we want to do that, or do we want to try and head back? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to rest here. Uh huh? March on. 
low levels, your resources are very limited, so... I don't feel like this is completely unreasonable. You just having trouble finding your spot? Getting comfy? Okay. So we can do... Camouflage Protective Rituals. We'll upgrade both of those. Night Watch. Uh... Okay. Okay, so Protective Rituals, she can do that. Camouflage, can do that. Night Watch, I am not good at that. Um, but I guess somebody's got to do it. Rest for the recommended period. Use healing spells and abilities before resting. Uh, let's go ahead and begin resting. Got a pretty low chance of success on that first shift, but I feel like that's probably okay. Um, I guess we could try doing it that way instead. They That's technically higher. Yeah, let's do it. I can't get that tune out of my head. Damn tavern songs. That's kind of awesome. Failed to weaken the impact of corruption. Chance to attack on the camp is lowered. Okay. So we didn't get a full heal by any means out of that. But we did get all of our spells back. And that's actually... I mean, that's kind of just as important. Now, let's go ahead and use those to heal up. Bad rolls. Dangerous enemies. Dangerous opponents are groups of enemies that only the most experienced one of you awaits on the other side of this door. Oh. Carefully weigh the risks before entering. Whoops. Large water elemental. Make every strike count. Okay. Damage reduction five. Immune to pretty much everything, including er Yeah, that's like why is that here? I don't think we want to fight that. Uh, stealth? Where's stealth? Definitely glad that we, uh... Doubt is the heart's greatest there it is, stealth. So we're just gonna have him sneak in and see if we can get this loot. Where's our... Yeah, we're ways off on leveling up. I don't think we want to fight a water elemental right now at level two. Um, so I think we're gonna move on. And we're actually going to be able to, uh, if we level up in the course of this dungeon, or I guess not in the course of this dungeon, we may be able to go back there. 
We also get to learn about respawns. If there are respawns. It's always a possibility. Uh, looks like we missed a treasure chest back here. Uh, the map is nice enough to point out where those uh, remaining loot was. Looks like there's one here and one back here at the Mander Lizard. Um, I think there were a couple more doors we haven't been through before we continue on. And I don't want to go too much further here because we have been going for quite a while and I don't want to start a whole new section. Are we... Let us be off. Yeah, we've already been in here. Let's check this one out, since that's kind of on the way, and then we'll call that good. What do we have here? Loot, loot, loot. Loot, 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 loot. Let's move. Let me draw the first blood. Can't reach, so he should probably stop. Um, let's. Oops, nope. Just, just, just drink a potion. Just drink a potion. I can't do it. Uh, looks like we failed our religion check there. So we did not get whatever info would have been there. Looted some more random stuff, some scrolls. Okay. Pretty good overall. That was pretty mediocre. That was a better roll. Okay, let's go ahead and do a sort. Uh, type in ascending order, sure. I think we just want him... For that actually we'll grab one uh enlarged person here what's this shield of faith uh sure we've got three of them so i guess why not Large person. Uh, actually, I would like her to use... Yeah, no, that works, I guess. Cold iron, mage armor, other stuff. Eh. That's probably worth selling. Okay. Make sure there's nothing else here that we really want to get equipped. I don't think there was any, like, weapons or armor that were, like, super good. Masterwork Greatsword. Warhammer. Masterwork Short Sword. What's she got right now? Cold Iron Rapier. She cannot use a short sword. Hooray. Eh. I think we're... Let's not overthink it right now. I'm sure I'll get bogged down with equipment later. And this feels like a good time to break off. So, we are going to head back over here. 
Hopefully you are still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.